Good morning, fellow Ops and Traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Thursday, April 30th, 2015. Okay, um, announcements yesterday. Uh, GDP, that was the big shocker. Um, came in, well, almost at like zero growth, basically. Look here at 0.2% growth over the last quarter. Not all that good. The rest of announcements, though, weren't all that bad. And then the Fed dodging and weaving, sort of like Muhammad Ali, sting like a bee, fly like a butterfly, duck and weave, you know, don't let anything touch you, no good punches. Yeah, you can hit me, but I'm going to just deflect them and be ready for them, and I'm not going to take them. So, uh, anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what the Fed did a lot of yesterday. So the strong dollar and the lower oil prices actually are hurting the recovery, if you can believe that. That's what they're saying now. So for today, we have uh, weekly jobless claims, personal income and outlays, employment cost index, and Chicago PMI. We also have Kansas City Fed Manufacturing Index, which uh, I would think that that should be up there with the big ones, but it's not. And uh, yeah, so, uh, and then tomorrow, since there won't be a video, tomorrow is kind of a big one, a lot of them in the morning. So you might want to keep an eye on that. May put pressure on prices. All right, so uh, I looked at this article and I saw the D word and I go, you got to be kidding me. They're not talking about depression, are they? No, they're talking about a dollar because things are being, more things are being imported because the dollar is so strong against most other currencies, but especially the euro. So, uh, it's not um, doing any, there's no growth within the country because we're bringing everything in. So, and here we have the Apple Watch. Uh, this Taptic engine apparently is a skin sensor on the back here as shown in this picture here. And if you have tattoos, if you got ink, man, ain't going to work on your wrist. Okay, so Asia... Uh, very bearish. Wow. And Europe? Well, flat. I call Europe flat. Even though they say somewhere up here it said something about Euro stocks, European stocks pulling back. I don't, don't really see that right here right now. All right. Uh, moving right along. We'll keep this one kind of short. It's probably going to be the last one for this week because there's just nothing happening. So there's really no reason for me to try to squeeze a video in tomorrow before I hit the road. So here uh, the futures are looking like as though we may gap down at the open. Gold must have had a good day yesterday and then it pulled back. Let's take a look quickly at a chart here. If we can look quickly at a chart. Uh, it didn't really have... Yes, it did. It started out really good yesterday and then fell down. So today, it's just kind of hanging in there. And you can see that consolidation here, too. Move that over. Um, at least we get not quite as gappy looking because it trades longer. But, uh... Still gappy nonetheless. Or not gappy, I should say. Still consolidating. That's what I really wanted to say. Uh, and then we have oil at 58.89. Kind of steady. And the dollar at 95. It looks like it's pulling back a tad with and at almost a dollar 12 against the euro right now. Okay, so back to the monitor tab. Nothing going on here. We're just kind of hanging in there with uh, a couple of trades that we have longer term. Gold is absolutely a very long term. <laughs> and let's start out with Apple. Okay, so check this out with Apple. Um, 
since our earnings. Uh, let's take a look at the, oh yeah, the um, back ratio. Look at this. Here we are. This is the current price. It's actually up $21 and some change. And it may be heading to max profit here, provided we get below this short call at 126. If we get below that and that moves itself towards zero, well, that's a wonderful thing. Let's look at the option chain here. 126 is right here. And you can see that the um, extrinsic values here all straightened out. And we were looking at it before earnings, they are all skewed up and, you know, there was negative extrinsic values on here. Don't know if it was calculating or if it was because it was pre-market or what, but they're all fixed now. They all uh, look pretty good. So when this gets to this uh, short May 1, right? Yeah. The short May 1, 126, when this gets down to zero, would be at max profit. So this has to get out of the money. It is in the money at this time. So the 128 is out of the money, 127. And what are we looking like this morning? Yeah, 127. So this reflects pre-market trading here. Because this 128 would be in the money if it was based on yesterday's close, but it's not. It's based on, since it's currently trading, it's based on what it's seeing right now. So when that gets uh, out of the money, then we will be at max if we had done this trade. So I pull in save a little bit from this apple and you know it may have ended up being a pretty decent trade so you can see now based on Friday's close these this line here and this line here are the standard one standard deviation at 130 and 124 so typically most possibly could move within this range here, this one standard deviation, based on, based on mathematical probabilities, which uh, way too deep for me. Okay, so uh, Apple, we're just kind of watching Amazon, just kind of watching it, waiting for it to settle down. Baidu is... Uh, kind of mixed up what happened here what happened what did we get what happened to Baidu what a 15 minute chart again not much just didn't really move all that much we have a market maker it was supposed to move 11 according to market maker and I don't think it moved much at all 219 down to 210 well it moved 9 as of right now, so I guess you could say that that's pretty close to the market maker move. Well, we're staying away from that one. How's Chipotle doing? Chipotle is not doing well at all, and we could actually have jumped in on that. But we didn't. So we're going to wait for the next one out here. I didn't put that on my chart just because we're still a little bit early uh, post earnings on that. Costco not doing very well at all. I don't know when their earnings are. Uh, yeah, they're a little ways out. So we could slip one in possibly maybe somewhere around here next week. A little look at the Dow here, uh, just kind of consolidating. We break down through this. This is going to be a big one. And that would be probably not a good thing for the entire market. Here's GLD. Uh, not so gappy anymore. Kind of settled down. 
um, we still have our uh, okay come on you're gonna do this to me now come on you're gonna give me a problem now right so yeah we're still at this oh we should be at, our cost basis is 123.95 and this is when we got into the next this 120 uh, short call that we did on it and 120 is right here we're not in any sort of danger at this time and we only have two more weeks to that expiration Google not so hot post earnings we need to figure out which direction it's going we have conflict of moving averages between a daily and a weekly and we have to wait for them to get into sync LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn is sinking okay we have we they have earnings today after the market NDX Apple's probably really weighing heavy on the NDX on the NASDAQ and this is shown here for sure is it going to continue to drag it down probably probably wouldn't you say and can you uh, and Twitter's probably dragging it down too although market capitalization wise I don't think Twitter is anywhere near Apple <laughs> I wouldn't think but anyway uh, we may be having a setup on that let me go back there it's uh, just dwell uh, just a moment more on NDX come on there we go so now Although we're not in sync here on the stochastic, we are in sync with moving averages. And you know what? This is going on the list for today. And I would do a 20 delta 30 days out. So if we were to look here on the Analyze tab and take a look at an option chain, 30 days is May 5. Uh, it's all of a sudden turned really slow. I don't, I still don't, I just don't think about it during the day to give these guys a call. Because I know if I called them, they would help. Okay, so, um, we're looking for a 20 delta. Here we have 21 at 43.30. 43.30 is right around here, which would, looks pretty dang safe to me. So that would be a possibility. And if we were to do a vertical on that, we would collect 75 cents. And you'd be well, a little bit more than uh, risk reward five to one on that. It'd be more like six to one, roughly. Using my foggy head this morning, so that would be a pretty decent trade, I would think. Provided, of course, that we get a hook here. We may not. All right, but they're on the list for today. Netflix. Netflix looks like a cat jumped up on the windowsill and, and now it's just laying there soaking up the sunshine. Don't know, I'm a little afraid of Netflix at this point in time. I want to get rid of this drawing. There we go. Okay. Uh, Priceline has earnings coming up. So we'll take a pass on that. How's the Russell looking? Haven't paid much attention to the Russell. Uh, it is in an uptrend, but the weekly looks a little bit like it wants to roll over, doesn't it? Well, maybe not. The moving average is kind of in the thick of the candles here. I would prefer to have like along here 
where the lows of the week are using the moving average as support rather than the highs. <laughs> so that makes me a little bit nervous there too. And we're rolling over here on the uh, daily. So I'm going to stay away from that for right now. And let's look at SPX. Uh, we are looking for an entry yesterday. We did not get a hook on the MACD. So we're staying away from that. Well, we stayed away yesterday. Um, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I wanted to activate. There. So we're still going to look at um, NDX and SPX. NDX, I may do a um, I may do a simulated trade in NDX because I got burnt a lot this year on NDX. And then last but not least, we'll just take a look at Tesla because it's on our list. Because it has earnings coming up. So we're going to just sit back and watch the fireworks there. Definitely broke through this downward sloping trend line. Alright, so that's it for today, for this week, and until next Tuesday, thank you very much for watching, have a great day, and happy trading.